a set of numbers written in order as a first, second, third and so on according to a particular rule is called a number sequence. Now consider a number sequence 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 etc. So usually we call the numbers of a sequence as its terms. The numbers of a sequence are called its terms. So here in this sequence the first term is 4, the second term is 8, the third term is 12, the fourth term is 16 and the fifth term is 20. Now again if the first term is 4 using algebra we can write this as x1 equal to 4 second term equal to 8 can be written as x2 equal to 8 third term 12 written as x3 equal to 12 fourth term 16 written as x4 equal to 16 fifth term 20 x5 equal to 20 and so on so here 1 2 3 4 5 etc are the positions of the terms and the terms are 4 8 12 16 20 and so on so in general we can write a number sequence as x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and so on next we are going to discuss about the relationship between positions and terms of a number sequence Again, consider the number sequence 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, etc. So here, x1 equal to 4, x2 equal to 8, x3 equal to 12, x4 equal to 16, x5 equal to 20. Can't you see a relation between the positions and the terms of the sequence? What is that relation? the terms of the sequence are got by multiplying the positions by number 4 therefore the sixth term is 6 into 4 24 term equal to position into 4 that is a relation in this sequence connecting the position and terms of the sequence then what is the next term that is x7 it is 28 7 into 4 now what about the tenth term x10 of the sequence x10 is equal to 10 into 4 40 what about 15th term 15 into 4 60 25th term x25 equal to 25 into 4 100 now x100 or the hundredth term equal to hundred that is a position number into the number four gives four hundred now in general the nth term is equal to n into four equal to four n x n equal to four n is called the algebra or the algebraic expression of this number sequence now let's find out the nth term or the algebraic expression of some number sequences first one the even number sequence or a sequence of multiples of two here what is the relation between the positions and terms of the sequence first term 2 second term 4 third term 6 fourth term 8 so what is the relation terms are got by multiplying the positions by 2 that means the nth term is n into 2 or 2n next one 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, etc. Sequence of multiples of 3 sequence. 
starts with 3 and number 3 added repeatedly. First term 3, second term 6, third term 9. What is the relation between positions and terms? The terms are got by multiplying the positions by 3. Therefore, the nth term is 3n. Next sequence. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, etc. Multiples of 4. We have already seen this sequence. The nth term is 4n. Now, the sequence of multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, etc. The terms are got by multiplying the positions by 5. The nth term is 5n. Now consider the sequence of multiples of 6. Sequence starts with 6 and number 6 added repeatedly. First term 6, second term 12, third term 18, fourth term 24. That means terms are got by multiplying the positions by 6 and the nth term is 6n. Now consider a different sequence. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, etc. First term 1, second term 4, third term 9, fourth term 16, fifth term 25, sixth term 36. So what is the seventh term? So how to find? What is the relation between the positions and terms? First term is square of 1, second term is square of 2, third term is square of 3, fourth term is square of 4 and so on. Therefore, what is the nth term? Square of n, that is n square. Now, let us consider the odd number sequence. So, to find the nth term of this sequence. The sequence starts with the number 1 and proceeds with the addition of 2 repeatedly. To find the nth term of this sequence, we are going to compare it with the terms of the even number sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. The sequence of multiples of 2. And you know that its nth term is 2n. If you compare the terms of these two sequences, you can see that the terms of the odd number sequence are got by subtracting 1 from the corresponding terms of the even number sequence. The nth term of the even number sequence is 2n. Therefore, the nth term of the odd number sequence is 2n minus 1. Okay, let's consider another sequence. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, etc. Sequence starts with 3 and proceeds with the addition of 2 repeatedly. So, here also we can compare this sequence with the sequence of multiples of 2 and compare the corresponding terms of the sequences. What is the relation that you can see here? The terms of the sequence 3, 5, 7, etc. are got by adding 1 to the corresponding terms of the even number sequence. Therefore, to get the nth term of this sequence 3, 5, 7, etc., you have to add 1 to the nth term of the even number sequence. And therefore, the nth term of the given sequence is 2n plus 1. Now, the next sequence. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. 
sequence starts with the number 0 and 2 added repeatedly. So here also we can compare this sequence with the sequence of multiples of 2. And what is the relation between the terms of these two sequences? So you can see that the terms of the sequence 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. are got by subtracting 2 from the corresponding terms of the even number sequence. So, what is the nth term of this sequence? nth term is got by subtracting 2 from 2n, that is 2n minus 2. Now, the next sequence. 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, etc. Sequence starts with 4 and proceeds with the addition of 3 repeatedly. So to get the nth term of the sequence, which is the sequence that you have to consider? It is the sequence of multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. And its nth term is 3n that you have seen earlier. Now compare the terms so how to get the terms of the second sequence by adding 1 to the terms of the sequence of multiples of 3 and therefore the nth term or the algebraic expression of the given sequence is 3n plus 1. Okay, now we can go for the next sequence. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, etc. Sequence which starts with 1 and proceeds with the addition of 3 repeatedly. So here you can compare this with the sequence of multiples of 3. And compare the terms of these two sequences. The terms of the sequence 1, 4, 7, etc. are got by subtracting 2 from the terms of the sequence of multiples of 3. And therefore, the nth term is 2 subtracted from the nth term of multiples of 3. That is 3n minus 2. Now, one more sequence. 0, 3, 8, 15, 24, 35, etc. So, if you go through the terms, you can see that the terms of the sequence are got by subtracting 1 from the terms of the sequence of perfect squares that is 1, 4, 9, 16, etc. And you know that the nth term of the perfect square sequence is n square and therefore the nth term of the given sequence is n square minus 1. Okay, that's all for today. See you in the next class. Thank you.